Let's put our hands together and welcome on stage Anurag Shoshi. Okay, hi. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, so I am in a right uh, place right now uh, to discuss uh, and most of the work, if you see, of my presentation has been already, uh, the job is being made easy for me by the panel here, the knowledgeable panel, because the type of uh, discussion which happened in terms of uh, the challenges and the concerns, I think that's mostly I would like to cover over here. Uh, so this is a good part. Uh, the good part is that I'm, my session is before lunch, so that is also a better part of it. But uh, always, you know, being in a hardcore operations, the the challenging part for myself is that I always uh, bring uh, not so good news to the business. Like you know, from operation side, always people say that okay, you guys always are having challenges. You talk about challenges, you talk about concerns, you don't talk about the future. What's going on? So yes, definitely, yes, future is ahead. And IoT is with us, uh, as rightly said, we can't ignore it, but we have to participate. However, being aware of the challenges, that will be more important for us. And that's the reason I want to cover this quickly. Um, I'm sure uh, most of you uh, would be aware of uh, the different fundamentals and the building block of IoT. But to make my case uh, very, very easy for us to understand uh, and to and to cons and to just uh, crystallize into four items which we see is the biggest challenge. Uh, I would like to spend a few minutes on the slides which will bring a clear perspective about what I see as a IoT coming up uh, in terms of the technologies which are there. Uh, being in this for the last 24-25 uh, years, uh, hardcore operations, um, uh, IoT is not something which is coming up new. It is like a development and a progression of the existing systems. So. I just wanted to start with an example like and which will give you a perspective going forward how uh, is uh, what are the challenges coming up. So on 3rd of March uh, just on last Friday there was a news uh, article in Times of India which talks about the uh, public distribution systems uh, in Rajasthan and how they are being used effectively and what are the challenges coming up. So if you see the public distribution system in Rajasthan has been so digitalized that uh, you have to have a Aadhaar card and your, your fingerprints are being uh, printed. Once it is being approved then only you get the ration. So near to near to uh, uh, Udaipur there is a small uh, village where um, the, sh the shop owner keeps this point of sale system uh, with the other card and, and the thumbprint. Now people go over there and uh, before going to the shop they have to climb the hill hillock. The reason being is on the hillock only there is a coverage where the uh, where the POS system can capture and authenticate the fingerprints. So the person has to go though they are very near to the shop but they have to go to the hillock, go over there, climb down and then take the ration. Is this not a challenge which is coming up? Yes, definitely. And then there is another innovative idea which these guys thought is about they found a tree on the tree when they climb they get this coverage. So they have made a makeshift arrangement on the tree where the shop owners one of the person is sitting on the top there and then having this post system there is a ladder there people go climb put their thumbprints and then get authenticated and come back and take a ration. This is where exactly the challenges. Big things coming up, but the challenges are that are the infrastructure ready? Are we having a good coverage? Whether the networks are stable? So let's go and I'll just put a uh, few thoughts on it. With that uh, example, I want to make the things easier on the next slides. So if we see, uh, we'll cover some of things like we spoke about the artificial system. So I'll uh, talk about how the data is evolving towards the wisdom. And then when we are going towards the wisdom side, what are the four challenges, key challenges which is coming up? I think the earlier panel spoke about interoperability, yes, the manageability, the security and legal challenges and the effectiveness in improving efficiency. So efficiency, every business is being done and every input to the business is being done to improve the efficiency. Let's see how it goes on. Yeah. So. Evolution is that I will not spend much time but you know I will just want to consolidate what we see is IoT coming up is that we have already connected IT enabled services they are connected and in parallel there is a industry going on so you have manufacturing uh, and industrial automation which is going on in parallel so I call it as a convergence of the parallel ecosystem it is a technical ecosystems which are coming up and you have a as another greenfield innovations coming up in terms of to be connected kind of thing where we have variables, health, farms, we have plants, smart cities, metering, homes, smart parkings, etc, etc. So we have three parallel 
techo systems they are all coming up and which are already there this is being working at the back end and this is the future which is coming up so now we know that okay these are the it enabled systems are into the campuses the data centers and the branches okay the and they are also connected to www the second one is about the industrial manufacturing yes they are there where they are at plants they are at the fields okay so you have your your machines which are connected at the plants you have the field engineers who are working onto the rigs and 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 you know onto uh, the, uh, the uh, like you know pipelines uh, the oil pipelines etc so those are the field operations which are coming up and then here the third innovation coming up is everywhere so it's not only on to the campuses and data centers and not on to the uh, in the automation but it is also everywhere so this everywhere is creating lot of lot of uh, buzz it is creating lot of challenges and that's what we will discuss now here it covers the it so you have a it covering all your branches and the business needs of your already connected it enabled devices you have a ot which is the operational technology which is standard for the automation of industry automation so it and ot they are two different technologies which are evolving and which has already evolved in parallel now but here what happens is there anything which is also evolving or whether it is doing something this is a big question mark what do we do for this are we ready for this big uh, push from the everywhere things coming up and also uh, having a uh, interoperations between these three so what we do you connect it over here you connect it over here and then you become iot so once we connect all these three things like it ot and i don't know what we call it as a next t we connect everything we get to the iot part of it now we have moved from the data acquisition to the business intelligence so i i'm sure some people here from the industry side of it and some are uh, it uh, veterans so just not want to take but uh, the time but wanted to put a perspective that from the scada to plcs and 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 to the dcs and ics the ot covers all of them so you have uh, scada is those kind of uh, you know serial port devices which 9600 baud rate connected and then giving a signal hooter beeper etc etc and then it goes to the plcs more intelligent then you have your uh, distributed control systems your you have an industrial control systems and then goes to the operational technology which covers everything in parallel we have started transforming ourselves from the punch cards to the edp which was the electronic data processing which is only processing a data and then going into the inter information technology which gives you mis the decision support systems business support systems the operation support systems etc etc now once we go these are the two parallel and then when we see how they will they will converge we just call it as iot can coming up which gives you more like analytics clouds social media mobility applications so with this we say that, okay this is the iot of the future which will have a convergence coming from the two or three techo systems coming from the industry coming from it coming from everywhere and then you have a iot which will place here if you see this is this concept actually started in 2000 at uh, at uh, the MIT Auto ID Lab and uh, now it is picking up so everything ha takes its own time like it took uh, 15 to 16 years for things to get realized and how the innovation comes occur and at Cisco uh, the Cisco IoTG group says that okay there will be 50 billion uh, connected devices by 2020 now if we putting this in perspective that uh, any every organization will have uh, uh, the the operational technology and the in, in, uh, and the information technology how ex what are the business priorities and uh, we just want to converge towards the challenges so the operations priorities always are, are into their you know resiliency of the network uh, the human uh, and um, like it's uh, i'm sorry about it. it's a bit very very uh, you can't read it so it's like it's uh, avoiding human errors human fatigue etc and then uh, you know uh, be efficient reduce downtime and then in the parallel it's business focus is to have uh, faster to the market okay be a competitive edge uh, flexibility customer uh, satisfaction etc now with these two and if at all uh, we have to cater to the uh, to the end user and comply to the iot market are these two systems in any organizations talking to each other if they are talking to each other we have a difficulty so we say that, okay are they talking to each other are machines talking to the business operation applications 
are uh, are they can be or whether can can they be managed by a single management system we have multiple management systems i would ot will have a separate management system it will have a separate management system but whether can they uh, then they talk to each other now if we make it also what would be our end goal our end goal will be from going from our data collection to the wisdom side of it we say okay now we collected data which is raw data we go into a information which tells us that you know what happened then we go to the knowledge which says okay why it happened and then we go to the wisdom which says what next now when you say go to the what next then we do a scenario planning and there where is it the challenge comes in that how do we do a scenario planning effectively in future so that you know we get a 100% better uh, benefits of an uh, of a iot now having said that uh, i'm not sure uh, whether we you know this is a relevant slide next one but uh, it will give you a perspective about what kind of data is getting generated and if you have to put that into uh, into uh, from the data stage to the wisdom stage there are multiple challenges which we'll see coming up over there so we have uh, you know energy utilities and oil refineries flight aviation and manufacturing machines uh, you can see the terabytes of data, raw data uh, is getting generated on a daily basis and this needs to be processed at the faster speed to communicate to your business systems and the business systems has to connect uh, communicate to the every everywhere system and uh, that's the reason we call it as not the internet of things but we call it as the internet of everything because things are like you know your devices but everything is like what you can think about uh, we are we are seeing the examples of uh, cattle breeding and you know uh, the plants getting uh, connected through iot and uh, how what is the plant growth whether they have been ripened properly and you know whether there is time for taking your fruits out everything is being is being is being uh, monitored tracked and then is being done so living non living everything going from only the computers laptops and tablets going into the living and non thing living thing creates its own uh, challenges with this i think uh, the four points which you want to discuss about the interoperability the next one would be about uh, the 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 manageability the third one would be about the security and legal challenges and fourth on about the efficiency okay uh, here uh, we say uh, are the legal systems ready to connect so the small diagram over here depicts that the ot and the it they have to pick up the load of getting challenges they have to jointly work towards moving up in the up direction and then uh, give uh, a benefit of the it so like legacy systems which we call the things were they ready for connection whether the business is ready to bear the cost what are the battery life of those devices because you can't keep changing every 2 years uh, the battery of uh, the devices or the or the or the water line which is there inside the sewage pipe and then you can uh, or the oil refineries which are going through deserts and to the sea uh there's a big challenge is the old devices they don't have that huge battery life and then we have to come up with a high longer battery life so whether the legacy systems can do that and then whether are they reliable enough to operate into the different operating conditions so if that is there definitely uh this will uh, be a bigger challenge coming up in in future uh you have a transformation of the proprietary legal uh, legacy network into the ip based network because everything has to talk to each other the standard which is currently is ip and ip v6 is uh, giving us a good opportunity to address to millions and billions of devices which was a lot of limitations ip v4 and that's the reason ip v6 is picking up uh being into the management of uh, big ip networks i can say that okay the ip poles which or the management poles which called as snmp the snmp simple network management management protocol which is there it is not good enough it doesn't scale it cannot address to huge scale which is coming up and for that we have to find some other answers okay uh here is like i think a uh, lot of spoken about about over the proprietary systems getting connected to the standard systems etc so this this is a challenge coming up now interoperability i think the panel discussed just before me uh, my presentation was uh, how the ot and it they will interoperate and what i see is that uh, for the it in it there is a, a standard called itsm which is it service management module which there is a standard always already available but in the internet of things where ot also coming up and the, all the variables and the everywhere things also coming up there has to be a convergence and a, a new standard for service management 
and the processes is required to be looked at. Now, the, the, the last but not the least is that the new getting obsolete very fast. So, the, we, we catch up into the vicious cycle. So, amount of investment which is being done on the new things, they may become obsolete very, very soon and we'll have a challenge. So, having said that from the legacy system point of view, uh, going to the manageability point, I'll just put a small case study over here. Uh, it's like we have things, we have a fog nodes, we have a premises and a cloud. In a normal IT system, the things have, could directly talk to the cloud and to analytics and then take a business decision at that place. But IoT should enable to take uh, operational decisions very fast, quickly. And I'm not sure that, you know, right now, uh, whether the fog uh, node concept is, is uh, you know, well known in this forum. But uh, this is uh, called the fog computing, which is coming up. The reason being is, when you push to everything to the cloud and the decisions are required to be taken faster, the latency and the data processing which happens in the cloud coming back to those devices over here for the decision making will be, uh, it takes quite amount of time, longer processing time and latency which will give uh, a bit inefficient operating system at uh, operating system means not not the iOS but uh, the operational system uh, for, for, the, uh, for the IoT. So, here let us see something goes wrong with the person, okay, he is, you can see he is wearing all kind of gadgets and, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a Google Glass etc. Something goes wrong with the person and there is a connected world. So, you have uh, uh, you know, the hospital getting alerted, as soon as the hospital gets alerted, you know, the ambulance gets alerted and the person's house also gets alerted that okay something has gone wrong with this person so please be aware that okay we are taking care of it as soon as the ambulance gets alerted you have all the cars on the street also gets alerted that, okay i am coming please make way so that you know the ambulance can go faster into the road and then they can they can reach to the hospital fast now in this scenario if at all these kind of things life saving uh, activities going on if all this data we push, it is just an example, okay. So, if we, if we push this data to the cloud, it has own challenges. So, what you do is that push the intelligence towards the fog nodes. Now, fog nodes are between the edge device, these are the edge device which has an analytic capability and then they can do a lot of processing of data then and there itself and then give you results rather than going to the cloud, okay. So, we see what will be the challenge is the reliability and the robustness of the things. So, these things will have a reliability and robustness is very much required at this level. If these devices are not reliable and robust, you can not get the intended results and you require us some millisecond responses, okay, too much of data to be processed. So, that is the reason you create a fog nodes which will give you this kind of response, but this will be also a challenge that, okay, how do we get these some millisecond responses and the fog and the data process faster. You have a high latencies because, uh, you know, uh, it has to travel a media. So, you have a high travel latencies. So, rather than pushing everything to the cloud and unreliable links are always there. So, rather than putting everything to the cloud, just put many things onto on premises so that it, you, you will have a lesser challenges. Now, once you do that, okay, you have a bandwidth is constraint. Why we say bandwidth is constraint? Bandwidth has become cheaper. It is getting, getting cheaper day by day, but it is not infinite. You, you have always, every technology will have a constraint of the bandwidth. So, you can't push all data on the top of it. You have to process the data at the fog level. So, this is where exactly, you know, uh, you have uh, these challenges. So, from the cloud side of we have this. Now, what happens is that anything which goes is required to be taken as operational challenges, operational decisions, you take it there or the premises and go to the analytics when you want to take a business decision, a long term uh, betterment of this. Having said that, how you process the data and where the challenge comes in. So, you process the data, you control things first. After controlling things, you collect data. From collecting data, you go and communicate it. Communicate after communication, you analyze it, analyze, you then take action. Now, if the actions are being taken, if they are corrective actions, we say, okay, because it was information available, I took corrective action. When it is an, I had a knowledge, we took a preventive action, but we had a wisdom, we did, we did a pre, pre, uh, predictive action. It means that what if then analysis has been done and you get a action oriented uh, IoT system. Now, if you see in this ecosystem of uh, doing this work, you have standards and protocols which are ch which which always a challenge. You have a scale is a challenge. Handling, storing, and processing of data is a challenge. 
and then extract data from sensor and map map it to the business rule now the data which is coming up is from from the device and the business uh, uh, rules are uh, coming on the one side map it and then show it to uh, to uh, to the end user uh, for the better uh, responses with this i got the data in motion people you know uh, we, we speak about data in motion but i just uh, want to talk about the data in emotion okay why you call it the data in emotion which we can we can check in terms of your you know the security and the legal issues which you see that acting ethically is not is very much required acting responsible is not enough so a car when it dash somebody the driverless cars people are talking about and then when it dash somebody whether it feels the same way a human person human being will feel whether they have same emotion so what is saying is the biggest challenge of the uh, iot would be the not data in motion but data in emotion means uh, the data has to have some emotional value and the artificial intelligence has to scale up to that level that they will start thinking like feeling bad okay and then you know, going into the corner saying okay okay i dashed it today like uh, the example being taken by yogesh was that you know that when when the bmw bmw was being dashed you know the person uh, the comes and how are you feeling okay they are talking to each other and saying uh, about the well being but whether the intelligent systems will do like that uh, that's what is the bigger question so this is data in, in emotion called as now i don't want to get into the domain uh, in a big deal but yes you can see it's a traditional data from for it and at the industry is different from the iot data because you have a small in size data but very frequent okay and you have coming from many devices and it's a variety variety right in the sense is that the data structure of every file you can get a flat file system you can get a csv csv file you can get many kind of files take them into one place and then process them would be a big challenge and the systems are anyway growing into that area it's not the case that we are not scaling but yes that needs to be taken care of how difficult it would be to analyze the data and chop it every time and rather than just doing it uh, into once in a day like banks do you know once in a day day end and then process the data here it has to be chopped every second and then see okay what something is every, everything is fine and then take a business decision and operational decisions then and there itself so there where is there is a there is a volume there is a variety and there there is a velocity when these things come starts coming in you will have uh, 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 much uh, faster responding cost effective complex analytics systems to be developed for it here now the time of the call which is the future of iot that's the reason we saying what is the future of iot is not here it is future when you require to take up faster decisions actions etc so now if you have a loss of loss of data in transit delay in progression and then you have a longer process in time you know uh, the data action can be not be taken at the same time it can delay the uh, decisions it can delay the, it can make the incorrect decisions and a delay actions so with this i think uh, this is how the data uh, which is evolved so the manageability of these devices the tools and the applications has to comply to these kind of uh, challenges and uh, uh, which will make uh, the iot uh, more effective going forward having said that we move to the third uh, challenge of ours is on the security and legal i'll not much talk about security because it's spoken very much about it in all the forums as well as in, uh, i think uh, our panel also covered it in detail about and uh, people from it would understand that okay it is a confidentiality availability and uh, integrity is the three key features of any security system so once we have the cia of uh, security this needs to be taken care and there has to be standards to uh, to do that now for industrial automation you have isa 99 as a standard for having a security while for the ism ISMS which is the information security management system which is for IP so information is more IT related and then you have automation related which is coming out the back end but there is we want to evolve something which is unified security systems which is between covering both the, both the OT and the IT and then you have a unified systems uh, which is a time of the call now so with this i think uh, security is much spoken and then next is about some of the legal challenges legal challenges also which we see uh, uh, there are great amount of legal challenges into the into the cloud computing and uh, which will it's a big topic in itself and might be uh, like this kind of seminar in itself which will talk about what are the legal challenges coming up the biggest legal challenge which is there for 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 the cloud computing is that the data has no boundary 
it doesn't cover geography it is not it doesn't belong to a country okay the data center where the person who 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 hacked is from one country the data center in the second country and the person who was affected is on the and the, the third country which country's law will be applicable for this it's a big question so with this challenges i think uh, we all know that our personal identities are equal to the digital identities okay people are being known by their facebooks their whatsapp applications and their by by their uh, linkedin profiles so uh, but this is when it's also a threat and uh, if that is the case then uh, variables data to whom it belongs to basically that's a bigger bigger legal question that uh, to whom this data belongs to because variable sends your sends your all vital parameters to the cloud or to the uh, to the fog device and then they get stored there they don't remain with us so who will, who is responsible for that and uh, whether uh, how much control as an individual i have on that data is a bigger question now data protection law for the iot are still evolving so with that question we'll have to see uh, uh, where do we go uh, cyber threats on cloud and fog nodes are definitely uh, the bigger uh, bigger uh, challenges uh, right now just uh, i i just spoke about that data has no boundary and if you read in detail about this uh, and on the legal challenge on cloud computing uh, one will know that okay the no single country has a unified uh, way of dealing with any threat or any crime due to, uh, through the, through the cyber laws so which are still evolving and um, the other, another challenge is coming up is not about the data i know that uh, no sounds and images are also data but data is all about like you know you, how do you keep your data ready onto your tables and and formats but lot lot of images and sounds are also getting captured with this sounds and images which are getting captured how exactly we will be able to uh, create uh, not only the privacy of the uh, identity uh, and identity and the privacy but also the sounds and the and images of the human being uh, also getting captured is, is bigger and what is what a law has to say for it uh, that needs to be uh, still uh, worked upon now we say okay uh, just act, acting ethical just acting uh, reasonable is not enough Uh, somebody has to act ethical as well as as well as responsible as well as now if the damage is being done uh, who should be uh, liable for it now for example uh, the wrong data which comes from a variable and uh, the or the variable gives a correct data but the wrong analysis on the on the onto the analytical engine triggers a hospitalization of a person whether the insurance or the medical claim company will honor that they say okay you came because so you know ambulance put, pulled you and then put you into the hospital whether you know i was responsible for it whether you know whether the whether the doctor has prescribed you to get uh, get into the hospital but as a individual i can say that okay i had got a alert i got admitted in the hospital now my my claims has to be uh, has to be uh, processed so these are these are some some of the things which are which may come up uh, which may we are not there today that's good but uh, somewhere i heard uh, long back that uh, the murders uh, will not happen through the knives and guns but they will be through the cyber attacks okay so the next generation murders will be through that's what is predicted as through the through the guns uh, not through the guns but through the through hacking of your uh, systems you know hospital hospital systems or uh, the cars breaking uh, brakes break, getting failed or giving you wrong direction this kind of hacking if it starts that will be a bigger bigger legal challenges to this now some of the places today we see that okay the variable data as well as the employee data which is there on the variable may not pass through the email systems or not pass through the security systems and it may bypass it so if the if the it systems are not very very uh, strong enough to control the uh, the iot the everywhere things there might be a bypass of this and they may go unnoticed this and then anything where the claim comes from, uh, to the employer from there it's a big question now e waste is a less letter one is that there is there are different norms and then if you have a e e waste uh, disposal with so much of wearables and so much of electronic junks getting generated and getting obsolete very fast uh, the norms for that also uh, needs to be stringent as well as to be looked at so after this legal challenge uh, the fourth challenge which we see is improving the efficiency and uh, this is i think is a sum up of what i discussed but i just wanted to quickly wrap up into into uh, systems uh, as a mathematical formula efficiency is nothing but uh, output over input okay but if i want to put it into uh, into uh, uh, the business 
side, it says the output is the goals and there are a lot of resources, organized resources that at the back end as an input. So more and more resources you put in, the lesser the efficient the system is. Or in terms of IoT, uh, things which you need to take care, this will uh, create some challenges going forward. The first one, if we are talking about the scale, I think we have all spoken about it. There, then we have systems and software, if the data models are not, they are not correct, there is a flaw in the data model or there is an, the IoT systems are not able to analyze the unstructured data which is coming up and then failure to uh, you know, detect the data in emotion and take corrective actions can be a bigger challenge. This will reduce the efficiency. So efficiency will improve when we when we improve these parameters going forward. Okay. Then the skills, uh, the skills of the employees, the cross training and the retraining, the IoT, uh, the uh, OT guys getting trained on IT and IT guys getting trained on OT side of it is things. And the last but not the least, the skills of the users in India, I think the, the, the panel just spoke about is that the language and the education variety we have is here can give a, can can be a big challenge for the adoption of these kind of uh, IoT initiatives so, which needs to be taken care and then we have a speed to respond so we have uh, you know uh, man to uh, machine to machine and machine to human being so when the human being factor comes in the time to respond the speed to respond is a key to improve the efficiency now as a as there's something called a mean reversion syndrome so a person's capability going on the top, the top performance always the human beings have a tendency to go back to the average performance over a period of time. The way like in the stock market, the market goes to the top and then it wants to come back into the into the uh, averaging. Though the mean goes up and up, but always there is a challenge that the human beings top performance will always cannot be guaranteed and this will be one of the big challenge coming up. With this, I think uh, I would like to close. Uh, this is where I say that things which are look, looks very simply simple, there is a lot of complexity at the back end. And with this back end, you, you get uh, 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 a lot of challenges coming up. So thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to uh, uh, thank you for your time and attention. Uh, and uh, any questions you have, uh, you know, we can take it after this discussion. Thank you very much.